Hello everyone and welcome to the Empowering People International Broadcast. My name is Dr. Stanley Williams and this is my beautiful wife, Dr. Bettina Williams. We want you to know that the devil is defeated and Jesus is Lord. He's the God of all seasons. That means that miracles are happening no matter what the season is, even in our hour, God is still a supernatural God. God has called you to victory and triumph. In fact, he's coming back for a glorious church, not a defeated, broke down, frustrated, defeated church, but he's coming back for a church that is full of glory, power, and authority. The Bible says that in the last days, perilous times will come. We're living in that day and that hour, but God wants for you to arise and shine for thy light is come and the glory of the Lord is risen upon thee. Get ready for a word that is going to reflect the glory and the power that God has released in your direction. It's a setup for your greatest hour of victory. Let's go to the word. Well, we praise and exalt the name of the Lord, our God and King Jesus Christ. He is awesome. He is mighty. He is powerful and incredible. Our God is unfailing. And we just want to minister to you today concerning the power of hope in God. You can have hope in God, believe God, stand on the promises of his word in season and out of season. Even when you're going through dire straits, the hope of God will give you peace. It will give you joy and it will enable you to overcome all of life's trials. Your, your, your beginning does not dictate your end. Your circumstances do not dictate your outcome, but it is your faith in God. It's your trust in God's reliability in his character that gives you hope for tomorrow and assures you with confidence that it's going to be all right because of whose I am and the fact that God is with me. He'll never leave nor forsake me. Let's go before the Lord in prayer today. And I want to let you know, I'm Dr. Beth Tina Williams, and this is my husband, Apostle Dr. <laughs> Stanley Williams. Let us go before the Lord in prayer and let's go into the word. Father God, we just bless you. We exalt you. We magnify and glorify your holy name for you are good and your mercy endures forever. And we thank you for the joy of the Lord, which is our strength. We thank you for the hope that comes from you, O oh God. Father, so that everyone watching this broadcast will know that you have a plan for them, you have a hope and a future for them, that you are going to guide them. You're going to give them the victory and even already have given them the victory through faith in Jesus Christ. We thank you, Lord God, that no weapon no adversity formed against us will prosper. We give you praise, Lord, that your word says, many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivereth him out of them all. So we thank you for your glory, for your love, for your faithfulness, and for your deliverance. In Jesus' mighty name, amen and amen. Apostle? Today, we're still talking about the power of hope. And I want to welcome everyone to the broadcast. Amen. You are loved by us and by God. Amen. So we're talking about the power of hope. I want to make this suggestion. Every person needs something in front of them. Mm -hmm. Every mm -hmm. person needs something that they look forward to because hope is an expectation. That's what it is. Hopelessness is a lack of expectation. Now, Jesus had something in front of him. 
and the, the, the scriptures are clear. In Hebrews chapter 12, verse 2, looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith, who for the joy, look at how he looked at it, mm -hmm. for the joy that was set before him, he endured the cross, despising the shame, and is set down at the right hand of God. Amen on the throne. Yes. It's amazing. Jesus saw the cross as the salvation of humanity, of course, but also his avenue back to his father's side. Yes, yes. Praise God. You know, and when we think of this, it just brings joy. When you think of what Jesus did for us, when you think of the fact that Jesus went through the pain, he went through the stress, he went through the beating, he went through the shame with you in mind, and he did it for the joy of knowing that he would bring us all back to the Father, everybody that believed on him, everybody that believed on the shed blood, the blood that he shed for you, that, that blessed hope, that blessed hope, gave Jesus the encouragement, the motivation, the, the, the belief to say, you know what? It's worth it. It's worth the price paid. It's for the joy of being restored back to the father. Jesus was restored back to his father to sit on the, 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 the right hand of majesty on high. And he restored us back to the father. And with that hope, the hope of salvation, that is in and of itself the greatest hope a person can have in this world and in life. And that's why Jesus told his disciples, don't rejoice that demons tremble and are subject to, to you in my name. But he said, rejoice because your name is written in the book of life because that is the hope that overcomes everything, that overcomes the world, that overcomes all adversity, challenges, circumstances, and, and hopelessness. And it's found in Jesus Christ, our Savior and our Lord. And if there's anything you take away from this message today, and that is to know that the sacrifice Jesus paid for you, gave for you on the cross for your sins, it was worth it because God loves you. And that's what gives you hope for tomorrow. That's what gives you peace in your heart to know that I am not lost. I'm not hopeless but I know whose I am, I know who I am, and I am a child of God, and he watches over me. He will deliver me. He will guide me, keep me, and protect me, apostle. Every person needs to have a why. That's what you That's need. right. Yes, absolutely. That's what you're saying. Absolutely. Every person yes. needs a why. Why am I here? Why did God create me? What is the vision for my life? What is it that God has called me to do? That's right. All these things are things that you can set before you. Mm -hmm. I am determined to finish this race. That's right. That's what Paul said. Yes, yes. We all run, but only one can get the crown. But we strive for mastery, mm -hmm. each one of us. Yeah. Having the goal in front of us, we strive for excellence in Christ Jesus, yes. always having heaven in front of us, knowing that while we are on this earth, our goal yes. is to win as, peop as many people to Christ as we can, but there yes. is a place where we are going where there'll be no more crying, there'll be no more hurting, no more sickness, no more disease, but we are working to yes. bring as many people with mm -hmm. us as possible. We're going to deny Satan. We're going to depopulate hell. That is our goal. And still get the glory of heaven. Amen. And I love Psalm 16 and 8. It's very powerful. And in this Psalm, David is saying it like this, because I want you to know you can trust God. You can trust him today. He said, I have set the Lord always before me. He is at my right hand. I shall not be moved. Therefore, my heart is glad and my glory rejoiceth. My flesh also shall rest in hope. 
Mm. That hope is a refuge. You got to know that God is your refuge. He is the place of safety. Mm. He cares about you so you can have confidence. You can have assurance to know that you are secure in the Father's hands. He's a keeper now and eternally. So when you have Jesus, when you have God in your life, when he's on your side, the Bible says, since God is for us, who can be against us? He's more than the world. He's more than any adversity. And I don't care if you're rich or poor or anywhere in the middle, in between. Let me tell you, God is the difference maker. Having God in your heart is life changing because when the storms of life come to assail, come to attack you, come to d destroy you, come to discourage you, God is right there. He's the man in the middle. He's right there with you. He's the man in the midst, in the middle of your challenge, of your, of the fire, of the circumstance. If you need a blessing in your life, if you need a door open for you, if you need favor, if you need healing in your body, if you need peace in your mind, peace in your marriage, if you need just a feeling of love and acceptance, you find it in God. He's your hope. And that's why David said, my flesh also shall rest in hope. N no matter what you're dealing with, no matter what you're going through, you can trust him. You can rely and have confidence in God because he's a God that gives you hope. And that type of hope keeps you. It keeps you motivated. It keeps you going strong. It keeps you desiring to see a good outcome and it keeps you to where your spirit cannot be broken. Your spirit, your, your heart cannot be destroyed to where you say, I give up, I quit. No, God's keeping presence, his safety, yes. he's a place of safety where he'll keep your heart. He'll stabilize you where you can't give up because you know God's got me. He's undergirding me. He's upholding me. He's sustaining me. Have you ever panicked in life? And after you finish panicking, after you finish yes. being filled with anxiety and fear, you realize and recognize God already brought me through it. Why did I even panic? Why was I even scared? Why was I even anxious? Why did I even allow myself to go through that? When I know my God is faithful, I know he's a keeper. I know he will deliver. I know he will give my soul peace. Peace, somebody. Have peace today and keep your eyes on the hills from which come your help because your help comes from the Lord who made the heavens and the earth. I'd like to encourage every one of you to begin to seriously meditate in the word of God. Remember what the psalmist David said. If you meditate in the word day and night, you'll make your way prosperous and you'll have good success. I believe that everything that you set your hands to do will prosper. And I believe that God is interested in your prayer life. Develop that prayer life. Begin to stand up in God's face and begin to declare the word of God. God loves it when he's in communication with his people. In Jesus' name. This is an exciting time in history. We are seeing the word of God unfold and come into full manifestation every day, just watching the news. So I want to encourage you, get your news from the original source. Stay in the word of God daily. And as you stay in the word of God, enjoy with daily communion and prayer talking to the Father, he will show you things to come and he will manifest his power to you. In fact, God has ordained for you to be in the driver's seat. He's ordained for you to be the head and not the tail, above only and not beneath, blessed and not cursed. God wants for you to be a difference maker and a change agent. In other words, God has put you in a position of power and authority because we're seated in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. And he's ordained for you to walk a life of victory in the word. Let's go back to the word of God. If you look at this passage, 
in, in verse 8, like you said, the passage says, I have set the Lord always before me because he is at my right hand. I shall not be moved. Therefore, my heart is glad and my glory rejoices. My flesh also shall rest in hope. That's everything you said. And it's beautiful. Now, in verse 10, mm -hmm. he mm -hmm. says this. This is how you know mm -hmm. it's prophetic. For thou shalt not leave my soul in yes, hell, yes, yes. neither shall thy suffer thy holy mm -hmm. one to Glory see corruption. To thou wilt yes. show me the paths of life, and in thy presence is fullness of joy, mm -hmm. and at thy right hand there is pleasure evermore. God mm -hmm. was not about to leave Jesus' body in the grave. Yeah. Nor was he about to allow Jesus' body to experience corruption. After three days, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. he rose from the dead. Mm -hmm. And the deliverance of mankind was secure. That's right. Power over That's death, right. That's right. hell, and the grave. Now all power mm -hmm. has been given unto me. Mm -hmm. This is the one we serve. Yes. So in the Old Testament, when, when the angel was speaking to Abraham and he said, is anything too hard yes. for the Lord? Yes. He said, this time next year, mm -hmm. at the time of life, mm -hmm. Sarah will give birth to a son against all odds. Yes. They were speaking hopeless. I'm too old. Shall I have joy That's right. That's in my right. old age? Yes. But God is the is the the author of hope. Mm -hmm. He is the father of hope. Mm -hmm. And he gave Abraham and Sarah joy again. Yes. Just like That's he did powerful. for Naomi. Just mm -hmm. like he did for Job. Mm -hmm. He did it for them. He mm -hmm. will do it for you. Yes. Well, how do I know? The scriptures are plain. It says, all these things mm -hmm. were written down as examples yes. Yes. for those who have come to the end of the age. Yes. These are examples to us so that when we see them, we can have. God is serious about his promises and keeping his promises. He's serious about keeping his promises to us. And I love Psalm 31 and 24. It says, be of good courage and he shall strengthen your heart, all ye that hope in the Lord. And the reason why we're saying this is to encourage you. We are in the best time in history. I believe that I believe to, that contrary to the way things look and appear on the outside in the natural, we're in the greatest time in history of the uh, 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 in the history of the world and of humanity to be here at the time when we know God is manifesting and showing himself strong. We don't have to be discouraged by the negativity on the news. We don't have to become discouraged and disillusioned by the economy, by government or the lack of leadership. We don't have to be discouraged by the negativity of, of the day. But our eyes are on the master. Our eyes are on Jesus. Our eyes are on our heavenly father. And we know that he said he will always, 2 Corinthians 2 and verse 14, it says, thanks be unto God who always causes us to triumph in Christ Jesus. So you can begin to praise him now. You can begin to thank him now. He is your blessed hope. He is the one who's guiding you and keeping you. And guess what? He's got to keep his promises concerning you. And that means you, you can expect to grow, to increase, to multiply, to come out of and beyond the struggles and the pain of your past and emerge to come into the fullness of the purpose, the hope, and the destiny of God in your life. According to Jeremiah 20, 29 and 11, he said, I know the thoughts I think towards you, saith God, thoughts of peace and not of evil, to give you a future and, and a hope. My God, so trust him today. Rely on him today. And as a mighty man of God once told us, enjoy the journey, apostle. This is the Lord God yes. that we serve. Yes. 
though you may go through trials, mm -hmm. all believers, yea, everyone who lives godly shall suffer persecution. But many of the afflictions of the righteous are though many of the afflictions of the righteous, the Lord bringeth them out of Deliver them all. Them. I yes. want to say to you, if you're in, you're coming out. That's right. And if you're out, rejoice before the Lord and be glad. Yes. In any position you find yourself, in any circumstance, be like Paul. Mm -hmm. I've learned how to be abased. I've learned how to abound. Mm -hmm. No matter what position I find myself yes. in, I will rejoice yes. in yes. the Lord. Listen yes. to this. This is the psalmist. Mm -hmm. This is what he says mm -hmm. in Psalms 42, 7. Deep calleth unto the deep at the noise of thy water spouts. Yes. All thy waves and billows are gone over me. Yet the Lord has commanded his loving kindness in the daytime. Mm -hmm. And in the night his song shall be with me. And my prayers shall be unto God my life. I will mm -hmm. say unto God my rock. Why hast thou forgotten me? Mm -hmm. Why I go mourning because of the oppression of the enemy? Mm -hmm. As with a sword in my bones, my enemies reproach me. While they say daily unto me, where is thy God? Mm -hmm. While thou cast down, O my soul, he asks himself a question. And why art thou disquieted within me? Yes. Hope thou in God. Yes. I'm going to hope in my yes. God. In my life. I've been through many things that were mm -hmm. hurtful. Mm -hmm. I've been through rejection. I've been through hurt. I have been betrayed. I felt it all. But in, through it all, I've kept my hope in God. And yes, every amen. time God would bring us out, every time God would bring me out, and yes. every time God would remind you mm -hmm. or remind me and you, I got you. Yes, yes. And I'm going to finish this Psalm 42 and 11. He says, for I shall yet praise him who is the health of my countenance and my God. You got to know who Ooh, your God Jesus. is. He's a mighty God. He's an awesome God. You can get excited about it. My God, and know that according to Nehemiah chapter 8 and verse 10, the joy of the Lord is your strength. And he, so he said, he said, he is my God, my God. For I shall yet praise him mm. for the help of his countenance. He's your God. And you need to say, you are my God and I trust you. My hope is in you and I can praise you in season and out of season. Bless the Lord, oh, my soul and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, oh, my soul and forget not all his benefits. And what does it say, Apostle? Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, forget not all of yes. my benefits. He heals all of my diseases. He forgives yes. all of my yes, iniquities. Yes, yes. He satisfies my mouth with good things and so my that my renewed. strength Eagle. is renewed like the eagle. Yes. He redeems yes. my soul from destruction. Yes, my God. God. <laughs> He's a good God. And we just want to we just want to take this time and pray with you right now that if you want to get to know and you don't know the God that we serve, the mighty God that we serve, the receive him into your heart right mm. now and pray with us. Father God, I come before you and I ask you to save me, deliver me, live in me, guide me and fill me with your Holy Spirit. I want to live for you and serve you all the days mm. of my life for the rest of my life. All I give days. you my heart right I now. Give you my heart. Fill right me now. with your Holy Spirit. Fill me with your Holy Spirit. And give me and give me your grace. Your grace. To live a life. To live that's a life. Full of faith that's full of faith. And hope in God. And hope in, in Jesus' God. name. In Jesus if you name. prayed that prayer with us today, you have just been born again and yes, the angels Lord. in heaven are rejoicing yes, over you. Lord. We want to encourage you go to our ministry mm. website at empoweringpeople.us, empoweringpeople.us. Share your testimony with us. Reach out to us. Let us know how the ministry has been a blessing to you. And we encourage you to give into this ministry. Sow your best gift 
your best seed because you're helping us to expand, to grow. God is doing a new thing. He's blessing the ministry to be able to influence the world for the kingdom of God so that lives are touched, souls are saved, people are delivered and made whole. And God is blessing this ministry. And we just, we just want to thank you for being a part, for participating for supporting this ministry yes. with your prayers and your financial My contributions God. and giving. And as you do, may God bless you exceeding and abundantly beyond all you can ask, think, or even imagine. May God blow your mind with as blessings. we as we get ready to even transition from 2023 by God's grace in 2024. May you grow, increase, and multiply exponentially beyond anything you've ever seen before. Mm. May God make every crooked place straight, every rough road smooth, every mm. mountain level low. Mm. Glory to God. And may he surround you with favor like a shield and give his angels charge concerning you to keep you in all of your ways. I don't care what they say about this, that, this or that other virus or this or that or the other situation, economically, whatever. you got to know my God is with me. He's mighty. My God is for me. He's watching over me and my family and my, your children and your children's children. And he's a keeper. Therefore, you can have joy. You can have peace. And you can have the power of hope in a God that never fails. Apostle. Remember, many, some will fall at my right hand. Some are going to fall at my left. Mm -hmm. But it is not going to come nigh me. Yeah. Keep your confession strong. Yeah. Keep your yeah. hope fixed. My hope is fixed in nothing less yeah. than Jesus Christ and his righteousness. And remember that God yes. is for you. Yes. He is for you. Yes. For your children, your children's children, mm -hmm. and all that are coming out of you. Mm -hmm. Remember, only God, only God is, able is able to keep us, to keep us from, from falling. falling. God bless you. God bless you. We want to thank you for being a part of our Empowering People International family. We so appreciate you. You are loved. And every soul that's impacted by this broadcast, you are a part of it. Remember that Jesus is the best thing that ever happened to us. And as long as we have him, we have absolute victory. You have received the word of God today, and I want to encourage you to stand on it. Stand on the word of God and hold on to God because he's holding on to you. Believe God because he believes in you. He created you for victory. He created you for triumph. You shall not go down in defeat for one split second as long as you are standing on the rock of your salvation and that's none other than Jesus Christ our Lord. He is the Lord of the harvest. He is the Lord of victory. He's the Lord of triumph and he is the Lord of the host of the armies of heaven. You're on the winning side. You're on God's side. Stand in the victory. God bless you.